Yes, welcome to Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I'm your host, Joe Pitara, publisher of Muscle Sport Magazine, and I'm going to make myself a Bolero drink. Look at this dragon fruit, bro. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Fucking cut the fucking rope when you're done. Oh! <laughs> this shit, that should be good. What, dragon fruit or savage psycho Joe there? I, I... I, I, I sent him a DM and I tagged him and I said, many folks are, are asking me to bring you on the show and I would like for you to join us on, on, on Instagram Live today. P. Kenny, Dot Man, the Dot Man Covet, Mr. Nerfy, there he is, Mr. Nerfy from Next Gen Sups, Sauna Core, Sauna Core. I like that name. It's different. I'm trying to figure out. Is it like the name of a company? You build saunas and shit like that? I fucked my wife in a sauna we had in the uh, in fucking the Kamasi Camera, the, the Poconos. What is Fruity going on here? Sup? Oh, that's pretty good. You know why I like fucking my wife in a sauna? Because she gets all sweaty, and I love eating that sweaty box. Charles Bonnie, what's up, my friend? How's tricks, bro? How's the gig going? Hope the gig's going well. Steiner! Steiner, another fucking Norway guy. Look at this. The Global Association of the Muscle Sport Mag Family and the Iron Bane. If you don't curse on this live stream, then this isn't real. I can't curse. I'll get in trouble. They'll fucking ban my dick. Craziest place you ever did it. From being inside apartment complex by all the stairs. Hmm, I got to think about that. Because it's good. Sauna sex is the way to go. It's going well. Good for you, Charles. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. You're a freak, Joe. Yes, I am. And I'm proud of it. And your videos are fucking freaky funny. AC went out last night. Woke up to a sauna for a booty hole. Ooh. Ooh. Did, did you leave like fucking disgusting sweat marks in the bed? And there she is, Buff Brianna Bourne. Andy Thompson, I seen join. What's up, Andy? Fuck's sake, Joe on fire. You the man. Buff Brianna, there she is. Buff Brianna. Buff Brianna gives me, gives me the movement. I just finished a wonderful, like a two-hour fucking interview with Big Frank Budaleski. And oh, shit, did we fucking go all over the fucking map. Johnson, Mr. Mr. Johnson, 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 Johnson. You got the day off. Ooh, I'll be right over. <laughs> You're on a, a, a skateboard ramp? My son's into the skateboard. Hey, Tattooed Bird, what's up? Are you the chaos guy? Mighty Joe. Great ad. I, Big Frank's fucking funny as hell. I've had him on the show before. I got him on again. And uh, we are talking. We're talking. Trying to see how far we can take this relationship. I want to see if I can get married to Big Frank. We're going to go to the justice of the peace. Yup. Uh, yeah, see, the other day we were uh, doing the, uh, the comments. Any tips on how to get white swimmer stains off of stone floors? Wow. I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Come on him. <laughs> it can, can't hurt. He come. Don, what's up, big Donnie Shelton? Donnie to the shell to the tone. And there he is, the West Coast Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Let's do it for West Coast Johnny. Chaos is going worldwide. Yes, I see the shoey is out there in lovely fucking UK land. Is that you with the mustache? Hey, Joe. <laughs> Jay back. What's up, Jay? I need a boyfriend, Joe. It's time. Oh, man. If I was single buff Brianna born. Man, I would be balls deep in you right now. <laughs> White swimmer stains. Instagram. Oh, okay. Yes, I forgot. It's got the sensitivity police. Alec D, what's up, Alec? Pending back surgery in July. For me or for you? If it's you, then we're both getting it. Because, yes, I am getting it. On the 7th, Buff Brianna has got... Oh, is that... Is that the little hand face and the tongue. I would use my tongue first, of course. Day Jason Duran. Yes, Johnny. On July 27th, I am scheduled for back surgery. It's death by meetings today. On a Thursday, 
Ali Q, what's up, Ali? Chaos Nutrition is off the hook. Yes, it is. That's all family members. Big fucking Rob, shoo the shoo shoo shoo, the hitman, the the ink guy right there. Hey, Bra hey, Gladiator Brian Wells. What's up, Brian? You broke your back? No, I have spinal stenosis, some bulging discs, um, pinched nerves. It's 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 fucking. It's been over fifteen years in pain and progressively worse. Oh my God, Key and Al are back in the house. Key and, am I going to see you at the Olympia in Las Vegas? Are we going to get to meet, but that husband of yours is going to be around to fuck up all the fun. I'm just kidding. He looks like a cool dude. I want to have a drink with both of you guys. Bulging what, Joe? A bulging disc. <laughs> I got a bulge for you right here. Pending penis enlargement surgery. Hobbs, say hey, Hobbs. What's up, bro? Hey, there's a supplement company out there. I'll send you my media kit for sure, Joe. I'm text you so we can go out. We're all going to be at that crazy alligator bar. Miss Miss Wildfire as well. Had hand surgery for spinal stenosis. I shoot chaos nutrition straight. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm missing. I got uh, had surgery. Oh, Don, you had that surgery? Uh, uh, please tell me it was good news. I don't want to hear that you're crippled now. <laughs> How much time do you have? I don't know. A couple of weeks I'm here and then I'm going to be like laid up. I, I have to, um, you know, I'm going to probably uh, do some shows. I want to do a live show from the fucking hospital bed. I'm going to be in there for like three days. Or you know I'm going to do one. I heard you do Genova interview. You should get Average Rich on here to talk about Jason's accusations. Yeah, I should, but I don't want... I know that they're bad. I know that Average Rich is going to have a completely different version. I don't want to fucking... I like Jason too much. Brad's looking forward to meeting you. And me, him. Hmm. I'm only kidding. It worked good for you, Donnie? Good. Yeah, how long was... I'm, my buddy who had the same surgery from the same doctor was back in the gym in three weeks. But, yeah, he was taking it slow, obviously. But he was up and moving around. No pun. This is Kayon... Chaos Nutrition pre-workout have DMHA. It was just a natural. That one of the uh, chaos guys is going to have to answer. I don't have my can with me. It's home. You better, you'll be better after the surgery. Living with pain is no way to live. Yes, I agree. Buff Brianna Bourne, are you going to be at the Olympia by any chance so we can have a drink together and I could get to meet you in person and then you could kick my ass? Couldn't stand or walk before surgery. See, I'm not as bad as that, but it's, it's, it's where it's becoming not just a, oh, it's a little back tightening. It's like, fuck, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting to me. Sitting, I, I have to sit like this, typing. Well, I'm doing my show, I sit back. But I can't, like, all day long doing work on the computer. I got to, like, hunch over, and it's very uncomfortable. As much as I love your show, got to go train, but I have a kick-ass show, Power from South Africa. Brian, thank you. Enjoy your weekend, bro. I hope you can make it on Monday to uh, Muscle Sport Radio. I had ring diabetes of the blowhole one time. Oh, no. Jessica Reyes Padilla, my man. That's my girl. I wish she was my girl. Jessica Re Reyes Padilla is a, a very, very um, uh, a hot, sexy, attractive, and successful IFBB pro. She's doing very well in, 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 uh, in her fucking uh, her professional career. I can imagine Joe knocking a doc out for saying he shouldn't be live streaming from the hospital dead. No live streaming. Not sure. Well, you better make sure. Gosh darn it. I need my butt kicked. Torturous junkies. <laughs> Two Percocets in one strong drink. <laughs> I don't drink, but tea? All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. My, my, my cell phone camera stand got all fucked up. T, yes, I'll buy you anything that you will put into your mouth. <laughs> of course, bud. Cheers. Thank you. Jessica's laughing. I love how the East Coast peeps say stuff like Olympia. <laughs> A couple of months till full recovery. Yeah, but how long before you would like you were able to drive? Because I got to get back to the fucking studio. I can't do my shit from my house. It's just not going to work. He's throwing shit on the ground now. <laughs> the praying mantis spy is going to report her, Joe. Yes, the Down syndrome praying. Bro, wait till you hear this fucking Big Frank interview I just did. We could have went for 10 hours. <laughs> You're busted, Joe. I saw that decapitated hooker in the corner. Artie, yo, what's up, arthritis man? 
Humanity and K Fitness. What's up? Humanity. 1%. You. I am still working on the fucking Big Rob Summit. Two to three weeks. Okay, good. That goes along with what my friend Joe told me. Yeah, Chris, wait till you fucking see this one, man. I got to fucking... It's going to take me a while. To, it was like two hours. I want to do some really creative editing in there. And you know that's it's a pain in the balls. Yours are like fucking... You do so much. I'm like, damn... I don't have the patience to do that much. 100% manatee. <laughs> Humanity. I thought Big Frank was a part of Iron Mag Labs. He quit. And we had a lot to talk about Iron Mag Labs. Yes, Big Frank quit a couple of weeks. About, I guess, almost a month ago now. So he and I have been uh, conversing a lot. Gym Star, yo, what's up? That's the gym star. You're the same gym star that I met in Ohio, correct? Because I you changed your your, your screen name. Because I looked at your your page, even though your names changed, I'm like, that's gym star. <laughs> the guy we're hanging out with in the Arnold. Artie, what's going on, man? You a Trump fan yet? <laughs> Chris's crystal video is funny. Every yes, sir. Okay, I thought so. I'm like, I, I'm not going crazy. This guy looks the same, and he's got Jim Saw. I get confused when the names change, the faces and the names. Um, crystal, Chris's videos are all great. The crystal ones are fucking hysterical, though. You going to donate to Jane? No, because I can't. Uh, if I'm going to donate for cancer, I'm going to just donate myself to to cancer. You know, I'm not going to go through a third party. I. I it, it sounds like a cute idea. He wants to buy lightsabers for kids, but. Trump fan right here. Thank you, Nerfy. Yes, thank you for your support. We are all Trump fans, except for our Twitter Saudi. Our adv one advice to your youngest. Oh, who got a clause? Go away to college. Take advantage of that. I didn't do that, but I did get on my job when I was 20, so I was able to retire early. So I wouldn't have had that same time frame, and my life may have been very much altered and very different than it is. I might not be talking to you guys right now. I might be, uh, you know, fucking biting a pillow. I don't know, you know, who the hell knows. But I would like, I told, my, I told my son, my daughter went away to college. I want him to go away. And he's saying he doesn't think he wants to go away. So I said, all right, maybe stay home, go two years, and then you could always transfer. But that's the one advice that, that I would give to myself as a younger, sick Joey. Big Frank's a great guy. He's also the post child of what child insecurities can turn out to be exploited properly. Big Frank is, he's got some fucking story. I, the, the, the interview I did with him a few months ago, that's on YouTube. Uh, that, that, that was like, we went through his whole, like who he is and why, but this was all about the, uh, the praying mantis with down syndrome. Gosh, I, I keep getting booted. Why buff Brianna born? P. Kenny's a Trump fan. Are there really 20-year-old cops? When I was, that was the age. I think it's going to be, tw I think it's 21. It was 22 for a little while. But when I got on in 87, it was 20. But I think it's a little more. Pillow talking. <laughs> well, if I'm pillow biting, you can guess why. And what direction is my butt facing? Uh, Trump is winning me over now. Oh, good, Artie. I'm glad, you know what? I'm glad to hear that. That means you're open-minded because... Because you uh, you weren't a Trump fan to begin with, and that's fine. You don't have to be. Big Frank, I tease, I tease, I go. Big, listen, Big Frank is a fucking a very a very sweetheart kind of guy. He does a lot of. He just told me he told me a story uh, that we did on the show there, um, where he he drove far and gave this kid some uh, on his kid's birthday. Rich piano, po uh, you know. Um, like backdrop things that he had from demos because the kid was saying for his 30th birthday he was going to do a Rich Piana's eight-hour arm workout. He he was like, wanted to see if he could do it and he chose on his birthday to do it and it was a long ride for Frank and Frank showed up and surprised the kid and hung out and worked out with him and gave him the Rich Piana fucking uh, banners. So, I mean, that's the kind of shit that Frank does. He's, you know, he's a good dude, plain English. Mark, you like Trump also. So you're into Brexit then, I hope. I'll give you, if you give money to Jason, he'll forget what it's supposed to be and use it on himself. You know what? I, I can't, you got to take it with a grain of salt though. He doesn't do it on purpose all the time. I think J, Jason, I think people took care of him earlier on because they felt bad for him when he realized that he can do the same and make money. So listen, you know, I love the kid, you know. I spoke to him yesterday. We were bullshitting. What do you think about vegans? Um, I would never be one, but I don't shit on somebody for doing something like that. You know, I, I don't, you know, I, I could never do it. 
Imagine a cop who was 18 a year ago. Yeah, you're looking at one who's walking a foot post by himself in Bedford Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, 4 to 12 shift. Um, one of the shittiest neighborhoods in the United States. <laughs> what is the praying mantis with Down syndrome? That is the, um, uh, the ironic douche. I live at home going to Michigan State. Campus was 15. You went to Michigan State? You were uh, the fucking Spartans. That's where fucking Tony Mandarich went. Kim to the Haynes. Arnold Transformation, Johnny Stoner. I'm here. Hi, Joe. Hi, Kim. I hope Kim's going to the Olympia. I want to buy her tea also. <laughs> you know, I couldn't vote for the longest time. My first time voting, I voted Trump. Good for you, Mr. Nerfy. I'm very proud for you. How's my favorite numb nuts today? I'm doing well. I'm doing better now that Stoner's in the house. There he is, Apollo Creed. John's my man. Hey, Kim. Hey, John. Hi, Kim. What up, P. Kenny? What up, Mark? Yeah, I am. Kim, I love you. Come be with me. <laughs> C. Martin. What's up there, C. Martin? Vegan pussy tastes good, Joe. I've never eaten a girl that I've known to that has been a vegan. I've been married 23 years. So it's, it. you know, were there vegans 24 years ago or 25 years ago, you know, when I was still a single kid? <laughs> I'm a six, six, single successful guy. Remember that from Fast Times? But I want to show you this guy's shirt. I've worn this a hundred times on the show, but steroids, cocaine, and hookers. That is oldschoolion.com. You can get that shirt right there. My wife's vegan. Ooh, so she lets you eat your pussy? My wife don't. <laughs> Holy kidding. John looks like an old what? I am not prejudiced towards any pussy. Good for you. Neither am I. <laughs> John looks like an older George St. Pierre with extra skin. You know, <laughs> you know what? When John clean shaved, he does look a little bit like GSP. <laughs> That's fucking funny. You know? Oh, man. In, in that pose when he was with the, uh, the, the red, white, and blue Apollo Creed fucking trunks. Yeah, he did look like George St. Pierre. I had no idea you have to renew your pro card for seven. I know you have to renew it, but I didn't know that. I thought it was like $200. Where did you hear that? 700 a year, K-Fitness. Okay, Are you a pro and this is the first renewal? Because if you know for sure, you know something that I don't know. Tons of extra stink, kind of like an uncut pecker. Oh. <laughs> Mom Fit 23. What's up, Mom? Welcome to the program. Gerard Saunders. Holy fuck. What's up, bro? Ha ha ha. Yeah, that pose with the red, white, and blue. I thought it was GSP. Come on, all I got is vegan pussy 24 7. Crystal said. Oh, she said, okay. I didn't, I know that you have to renew it. I just didn't know, you know, how much. Mom Fit. What's up, baby? <laughs> I love fit moms. I saw, I got on it a half hour late. I was finishing something up and I didn't finish it till 6.30. And I got on Crystal's Live at 6.30 that night, Wednesday, yesterday. Mark the Golden Chat, what's up? Bruterski bio, what's up? Gerard M. Saw, and I was at M. <laughs> Gerard, are you going to the fucking Olympia so we can get drunk together again? <laughs> if you become a barista, what's the first motive latte art you would put in a drink? A big, hard penis. <laughs> a black one for Artie. <laughs> You're my favorite chocolate brother. <laughs> Holy fuck. Only on this program. Penis latte. Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm having a lot of laughs today. The fucking family is fucking just, we're just like fucking flamethrowering the whole fucking world. We need news. <laughs> not brown. I got to get that thing off the screen. Why is that not going down? Go down. Go down so I can see more. See more butts. Uh, well, I saw something about mom fit looks promising. We need news immediately. Be nice. Be nice. I'm going to have to get the ban hammer out. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine me trying to ban somebody. I would cut my dick off. <laughs> I'm planning. Go oh, Gerard, you got to go, man. Crystal's going to be there. Her fucking husband's going to be there. Um, uh, we're trying to get CW and fucking uh, and uh, Kat Vong to go. I didn't. I haven't spoke to Moke. I got to see if he's going to go. Enjoying this. My first time watching. Oh, very good. So we are fucking having a good time today. This is a, a, a good, uh, you know, f first load, if you will. 
<laughs> but Audie was on black. I get it, guys. Come on, Audie. We got to have fun, man. If I, Mr. Johnson's a black dude, too, man. So we love black guys on this show. Mr. Johnson's a fucking cult hero. Oh, what does that say? Something about kiss? Artie is like a Hershey's kiss when he's going. <laughs> Welcome to the loony bin, mom. Yes, dear, you are. Joe has no filter. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to try and go. To hey, Mark, if you go to the Olympia, I am going to fucking do a fucking video with you. And we're going to have a lot of laughs. Seeing you as a barista would be hilarious. Joe hired by a liberal company serving 20 something a lot <laughs> And everyone gets a second load. Yes. Yeah, but Mr. Johnson is a black Genova. <laughs> Stop. Come on. Mr. J is fucking cool as shit, bro. I'll be so down to hit a Vegas with the mo Audie, if you go to Olympia, man, I'll even fucking say hi in person. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's the best pizza in Brooklyn? Da Vinci, 18th Avenue between 65th and 66th Street. That's my favorite, but you have to order square, not round. And it's not Sicilian, it's square. Sicilian sounds so fucking like American. <laughs> Give you guys some street cred. Yeah, definitely, bro. So is it true you go black, you don't go back? Artie? <laughs> oh, fuck. HRBR. What's up, brother? Welcome to the fucking program. If you guys like this fucking shirt, I, I ordered a fucking box of them, and not many people bought them. Johnny did. Johnny did. Lee Carter did. They're 10 bucks free shipping in the United States. It's like a sword dick. You can't beat it, guys. Come on. Look at this. A beautiful shirt. Do people stuff their posing trunks? If KO Slice, what's up, brother? If they did, man, there's not much you can really stuff. Those things are like this fucking wide. Bring your wife to America, P. Kenny, and we'll... Oh! <laughs> He's going to throw a dart. He's like a fucking sniper with those darts, dude. You see his latest video? I'll get to the Olympia one day. have to time my holiday right. Yeah, but that's a lot of money for you, man. Like, Shoei's from England, and it's fucking expensive and a long fucking ride, man. Shoei's going again. He's competing in uh, Super League. I'll be hanging out at the Super League. I got I to gotta get to fucking meet my girl, Cat. Oh, man. Look at that. I got to meet Cat in person. Yes, Dwight Howard. To tonight's the NBA draft for anyone that cares. I'm a big NBA fan. I love that Dwight Howard to Brooklyn move because they got rid of that Tamafi Mozgov stupid contract that the Lakers gave him. Anything new out of Big Rob's neck of the woods? We're waiting. You love her. Ooh, yes, we do. I love when women love other women. Shuey! K.O. Slice is a great cook, I see. Shuey, I was just talking about you, that you're going to be at Super League with the 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 Sakor Miss Cat. Cat is the bomb. Dude, she is fucking... Did you see some of her new posts she's been putting up? She, I... Listen, I, I'm a horn dog, but there is just something about her that puts me on another stratosphere of fucking horniness. Of course, P. Kenny, he's a good guy. <laughs> all jokes, yes. Everybody, it's all in good fucking fun. It's all in fun. There is no fucking seriousness in this act here. We all have a fucking sick fucking time and laughed. Cat posts some bomb shit. I would fucking eat her shit. If she posted, I would put it in, put it in a piece of bread. <laughs> Yes, Kim Haynes is getting... Oh, you're going to take the crystal picture? I'm actually grabbing my fucking hammer right now. <laughs> Haynes is fucking so fucking cool. I love Haynes. <laughs> yes, we need more peck bouncing videos, even for fucking guys. I don't care. At this point, I I'll let Crystal judge those ones. There's only like two or three people in the Muscle Sport fam that I got a beef with. Who, brother? Who you got beef besides me? <laughs> <laughs> Besides fucking Uncle Charlie here. <laughs> Kim hashtag talent. Oh, Kim is fucking. Did you see Kim Haynes' new video doing her hamstring fucking leg curls? The lying down version. With the She wears this outfit in the gym. It looks like she's topless because it's backless. And then the fucking ass. I... I, 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 I'm almost fucking jerking off on the toilet before. <laughs> okay, Finn. That's racist. Jared's transformation and that scumbag. Jared's and scumbag Nick. Okay, I know Jared who you talk. What's, why is saying Jared's a racist? 
and which Nick? Nick D, the kid who I want my daughter to marry, <laughs> is Kim on Muscle Girls. Haynes, are you on Muscle Girls? I don't think so. Hey, Joe, but you should be. Any plans on extensive coverage or thoughts on the Super League? I've been talking to Jay. I've been trying to do a lot of things with him. It's just, you know, it hasn't come, come around, really. Nick exploited me out of $100. I'm sorry. Is that my Nick? You kid, my future son-in-law? I heard once you go black, you go right back to white. No, I am not. Haynes, you should, though. Yeah, your son-in-law, the smooth talker. Oh, the kid that looked like 8 Mile there and he had his hair dyed. How did he talk? He had $100. What did, he, what did you guys, how did you guys work that out? See, that's, I'll tell him to fucking return it, you know? I don't know if he's going to listen. But if he ever becomes in my family, he's going to have to listen. <laughs> if he wants to be, I want him to be a son-in-law. I don't know what you look like, bro. I don't know how old you are. Any more daughters? <laughs> no, just the one. He sold him a pack of dildos. Ooh. Ooh, any strap-on variety? <laughs> oh, man. Fucking shit. Long story that he can tell you, but I thought he would be able to help me out. Something he did me wrong. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That That's kind of shitty. And why is Jared a fucking uh, uh, racist? And his sons. Yes, I have a 17-year-old son. <laughs> Do you go that way? <laughs> or assorted ones for $100. What, dildos? <laughs> dildos. It's such a stupid name, but they're so cool. <laughs> I love fucking cunts with dildos. <laughs> Just shove them in and out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 423 Fat Boy Fitness. What the fuck is up, brother? How the fuck are you, man? Who's got any plans of dropping fucking semen this weekend? I do. <laughs> Artie got hustled by Joe's mafia. <laughs> oh, my God. I will admit I do have fault in the next situation. Hold on, I lost that one. But the rant that Jarrow went on on my page, I didn't see that, so I'll take your word for it. I'm shocked because he's a nice young kid. He's like 20-year-old kid. Blaha. Oh, Baha. This is Blaha. I just laughed so hard I oinked. <laughs> I have a 17-year-old son and he takes the longest showers in the world. I wonder what he's doing in there. He ain't washing his fucking feet. <laughs> well, afterwards, I guess, because it landed on them. <laughs> I think if it's promoted right, gets the right attention for Super League. Info. I know, I I agree, and I love the fact that they have uh, you know women and men, and they're putting cat front and center as they're like their their girl. So that's why I was I'm working on something with Holt, with Jay and with Cat with columns and uh, videos and you know a whole to do. The fam is unhinged today, Joe. I got a bone rough. I might have to whack on and whack off. I'm thinking of actually jerking off after this because I haven't stopped working since I got here. I had to go to DMV today and get a new license. The um, I won't drop a dr Oh, God damn. Hey, is he going to Olympia? <laughs> if anyone in the U.S., you need to get that enhanced license starting in 2020. You can't use the regular license that we all have now to get on airplanes domestically. You need this enhanced, it's either, uh, there's two different kinds. There's a star and a flag. The one I got is the flag, it's enhanced. You can go to Canada and Mexico via, um, uh, you know, train or boat, not plane with it, and anywhere in the U.S. with it. So you got to go and get a new picture and bring your old license, a passport, social security. I had to bring like every piece of ID I own and spend 100 bucks. So that's what I was doing this morning. Some mafia that cut Rob's Why, son of... Son of, I'm hearing some things, son of. What's going on? Uh, I'm hearing some things. Kathy Kemper, what's up, Kat? Yeah, I got the enhanced license. Oh, you got one too? I just got it today. Well, yeah, they're going to mail it. I was in and out of that motherfucking DMV. I, can, I made an appointment online. It's so different from what it was. When I was fucking, when I got my first driver's license in 83, I had to go to fucking Brooklyn DMV. Oh, what a mess. I was there for like eight hours. Arthritis Artie's saying some things, bro. There's been some fucking canaries flying around the docks talking. You know, I want to make sure that's, uh, uh, you know. I want my family members to get along. It's to conceal a dildo. Yes, but that you can do via the anal canal as well. 
You just got to walk, uh, you know, like fucking like you're wearing a tight skirt, which I'm sure all of us are used to wearing. Right, guys? Son of Sammy. Okay, Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy is coming on the live. How to license on steroids on something. Top three least favorite celebrities. Now it's Robert De Niro, even though it's my favorite actor. He's a douche. And that fucking Kamasi Kama there, Baldwin. Sammy! Uh, a little, little, a little low, but that's it's all right. Can you hear me better? Yes. Yes. What are you talking about, Artie? Yes, Artie is saying that he's mad at you, and I want you guys to straighten out whatever the problem was. Something about a hundred dollars. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Well, no, he didn't squeal. He just said that. He also said partly responsible for he on his own. He did say that. Now I don't know what happened though. So. I love Artie. I could see where he's a little not happy. What do you mean? He's calling me a racist because I won't take his money, so I took his money, so you can't call me a racist. So you proved you were not a racist. Yeah, but you could have you could have done a little something for it. I'm not taking anybody's side here. I gotta stay down the middle as the fucking Pope here. I gotta everybody's gotta be blessed at the end. But Audie, everybody likes Audie. I'm, I'm serious. I broke his balls more than anybody, and he came back with no problem and said we're all good. Why don't you go then? Maybe you guys can room together and work it out. You can buy him the first round of drinks. I'll give Artie his fucking hundred dollars. Just don't get weird on me, bro. Just nah, he's not. I don't think he's a homosexual. I think he's hetero. Oh, no, no. It's just like, um, I mean weird in the sense of like, like what do you care what these people think? You know, why, why are you willing to send someone a hundred dollars to get respect? You earn respect. You don't buy respect. That's why I didn't respect that. Uh, I, I I hate to take sides because I love both of you fucking kids. You both the guys are fucking steady. Joe, you know I'm an asshole. Oh, by the set, by the way, I got a 97 on the test. Really? Yeah. So when I'm, when do you when do they promulgate the list? Uh, the list will be out on the 25th, so I'll let you know that. Yes, please do, and you know, let me know, and then we'll see what we can do on my end. Dude. <laughs> oh, Haynes, I saw you. Kim Haynes, I'll see you later, sweetie. She is sexy as fuck. You got to look at that new video and jerk off to her, bro. This kid's been driving me nuts, y'all. I can't follow some of these girls because they've been getting me frustrated, you know what I mean? So when are you going to come over for dinner? Meet my daughter, bro. Hey, listen, Joe. You, you send me the address. <laughs> One more year, she's got a college up your way, bro. She's going back for the Masters next year. Yeah, she got a fucking 4.0 GPA last fucking uh, semester. Yeah, she's going for one more year. And I'm going for my lungs, because it alone. And uh, I want to make sure she lands on her feet with a nice fucking guinea guy, you know? I want to make sure she's not bringing Matt King Cole home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm really not joking. <laughs> I may say it in a just manner type. What's your son doing? He's got to do one more year of high school. Is he going to go away to school? 
He doesn't want to go away. I'm trying to talk him into it, but. Yeah, I, 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 I do want him to go away, but I'm going to let him make the decision. I'll, I'll try to tell him, weigh the balance of the options. See which one's, what's good, what's bad. Let's make a chart and see which one fits your bill, you know? No, he's fucked with the back, bro. He can't play. He's not going to be able to play. Yeah, he's gonna miss the senior year too. He's on, uh, he's on the fucking uh, on the IR, you know. If, well, if they have one. No, I wasn't. I don't know. You know, I hope he didn't find my fucking stash. You know, because <laughs> I'm back off again. I got so there's few. There's some laying around. You know, <laughs> he may have found the key to the fucking safe. <laughs> I got a little lockbox where I, I have some cool stuff. All right. You guys should hang out. Go to the Olympia, hang out, and you fucking buy him $100 worth of beers and you're all even. Oh, you never uh, accepted it. Yeah, because it's sometimes you got to accept it. Yeah. All right, we will straighten this out so you guys kiss and make up. Wait, what's this person saying? K Fitness. I sound like a, a, a fish from prison. I think because the wind is like <laughs> it's a little windy. Oh my bad, yeah, I'm gonna stop killing your show. My bad, Joe. All good, Nick. I'll talk to you soon, bro. Love you, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Same here, pal. You're fucking goods. There he is, son of Sammy Davis, Mister Nick, my future son-in-law, possibly. CW and Todd on a mission. Yeah, here we go. We got the we got fucking family members jumping in here still. I love it. I love when you guys come on the show because I know that you're gonna say something that I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh my little my little my little tits off. And Miss Hyper Gym Freak. What is up, Miss Mia? All the way from Sweden. What's up, fellas? What the hell he's studying? What the hell he's studying? What do you mean studying? Studying. What's he studying? I don't know. Oh, Mia, thank you. You're beautiful. I love Miss Mia. Transformation Champ is in the house. Love me some Mia. Yeah. Damn fucking straight, guys. What do we got? We got 20 minutes. Plenty of fucking. We got a fucking year and a day left in the show. 20 minutes for the family. We can have a lot of shit covered. Yes, you guys are going to enjoy that interview. Um, I hope you got to all see my my nose nose with taking the um, Starbucks barista test. <laughs> if I was racist or not, he was right, Joe. He never took it. Oh, see, there you go. But I see my thing was not give it back, buy him drinks back. All right, good. So whatever, Artie, you got fucking. There is no respect in the show. It's just fun. So and you know I love you, my friend. I need to order one of those shirts. Please, I need to get rid of them. They're collecting dust. No, I'm just kidding. Argentina getting pumped from Croatia. Oh, really? Really? Wow. Going to pick up where we left off on Crystal's feed. Oh, we, we were getting dirty as always. <laughs> Has the Dark Lord talked? Yes, I spoke to him yesterday. I respect Artie. So do I. That Nick is a slippery one. Gives me a little mafia boy. <laughs> What's your son-in-law studying vibe? I don't know. I, he's going to college. I, I forgot. He did tell me what he was majoring, and I am not going to lie and say I remember right now. I did. I did forget. I I I'm lucky. I remembered fucking what my daughter majored in. <laughs> Some days I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> respect this. We respect everyone here. We call each other fuck nuts and all of that. Slippery Nick. <laughs> He's not slippery. He's a fucking grease ball like me. We got that fucking the vibe is like we look like we're always trying to get over on somebody. It's true. <laughs> Hundred dollars fell in my lap. He said. <laughs> That's such a fucking guinea thing to say. Your son in law sounds like someone you'd arrest, a little douchebag. You know what? I got no problem arresting my own kind. I arrested a lot. I took down a mafia case one time. <laughs> well, I didn't take it. I was part of taking it down. I, I wasn't the uh, 
the, the lead on it. I was just one of the uh, field teams on it. But I did boom a fucking door and have my own fucking warrant. Joe is a big nose grease ball. Yes, Kenny, I'm proud of it. <laughs> hey, Joe, have a great day. Buff Brian, I'll have a better day if you DM me another picture. <laughs> Uh, Buff Brianna, we got How do you like your tea? You like it with fucking milk, or do you want it with lemon? You want it weak? How do you like it? Uh, I would buy you as many teas as you can handle. <laughs> then let you piss on me. <laughs> my wife finally came down. I mean, I think she walked by, caught me ogling the fitness chicks. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Dono. Yes, I was many, many, many years ago. I got a little too much with Nick. I think he's a cool guy. And I always want a little Italian New Yorker. There you go. You hit your quota. You got a little Guinea New Yorker for a friend. <laughs> she cracked the whip. Oh, but you're looking at pit. My wife gives me shit looking at all these female bodybuilders and stuff too. <laughs> when you shake his hand. <laughs> I'll make sure you get all your <laughs> green tea lemon if it's washed with soap and water. Oh, wow. I've never heard of all of that. See, I'm just a coffee guy. Regular coffee, like in sweet and low, no sugar, and a little skim milk. It's racist when you go from gray to just for men black. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I show my wife the fitness chick. She likes to eat. My wife goes to me, you think that's attractive? And I go to her. I don't lie. I say, absolutely. She goes, you're a fucking weirdo. You're a fag. And I'm like, no, it's a girl. It has a pussy. You know, I don't tell her, oh, I want to eat this girl's ass. I just say, I, as a guy, I find it a Ironic one. Yo, what's up, Spidey? I told her I look, but I don't look in like I just did a pretty picture. She didn't buy that. I, I admit to my wife my masturbation fucking practices. I never, never fucking uh, try to hide that. She wants me to jerk off, so I'll get it out of my balls and don't bother her that night for a hand job. My wife wants nothing to do with the gym. I brought my wife to the gym for a little while, and then it was like, you know, she wasn't into it, and I, I didn't fucking force her to go. Sounds like my girlfriend. What, that she wants you to pull one out? Yeah, my wife would never get mad at me for jerking off. She could care less. She knows I like fucking porn. Porn MD is one of my favorite fucking sites in the world. I probably own it more than I have musclesportmag.com. <laughs> my wife loves the gym. You're lucky, bro. That's that's cool, man. I wish mine did. She just, you know. I have no issues from the wife on looking at checks. How about <laughs> Crystal was saying? She loves the, eating the girl while her husband's fucking her. I'm like, that is so great. <laughs> Looking at Instagram chicks. Do you like midget porn? I've never tried it in real life or porno. I should, though. I should try to see if I can finish off looking at it. I probably could. But now, should I look at one where there's two midgets or the guy isn't and just the girl? Do they have lesbian midget porn? I might as well start with my favorite category. My high school sweetheart was beautiful, but she never was in the fitness room healthy. She's probably around 250 now, two kids. Oh, all right. She should have been into fitness then. <laughs> Good thing he didn't marry her or get knock her up. It's not, what, midget porn's not bad? I'm gonna, After the show ends, I'm going to go on pornmd.com. My wife would, Joe, as she said to me, that's my job, and said she has no problem. What, that jerking off? Don't use... Oh, I'm sorry, Allie. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. I've never used... Allie, would you be offended if I jerked off the little people porn <laughs> and thought about you? <laughs> My wife is getting self-conscious and she's been laying the pipe to her since it's been a couple of days. A couple... Oh, thank you, Buff Brianna. <laughs> Maybe I'll jerk off the little people porn tomorrow after Brianna's picture. <laughs> a couple of days... Jesus Christ, don't fucking make me feel worse than I already am. <laughs> Once a week, is, and a lot of times I get the fucking, ah, I'm tired. Then I got to wait two weeks. I blew a load in her ass and we're all good. See, I never had a chance to do that. Allie, you cool with that? <laughs> right. I took my grandma to a fish spa the other day where the fish eat your dead skin for like 45 pounds. It was way cheering than getting her cream, cheering than getting her, oh my God, you fucking funny. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> My wife almost divorced me after shaving my face. Maybe she missed that beard in her twat. <laughs> Little people is talking. Okay. I, and you know me. I'm, I I say a lot of offensive things. I don't mean it. Mean it. I mean it as a, you know, just being a, 
the douche that I am. I love Ali. She's cool as fuck. Buff Brianna Moore. I can't wait. Can I go look at the picture and come back on live? <laughs> it's like just a drip coming down the screen. How much does she weigh? Cheaper, by the way. Look at your Instagram, Joe. P- yeah, I haven't looked at my regular page in a couple of days. I can't say that, Mr. Nerfy. I promised Allie. I promised Allie. We've been married for 12 years and just started experimenting with that the last... Yeah, my wife won't let me get in that fucking goddamn balloon knot. She won't let me... I try to eat the cigar cut or everything. No. Chaos nutrition in the house. What's up, Flash Flanagan? And there he is, Nick. Nick, where the fuck you been? <coughs> Your buddy Sammy was just here. It doesn't bother me, but most it does. No, I know. I understand. And I, I, I say a lot of crass things, so... And, but because I, I fucking love Allie, I wouldn't want to say something that she would be uh, pissed about. Mikey, crazy hawk. Love the gray shirt. Thank you, sir. I love you. I That's Mikey, crazy hawk. Him and Thea and Renee, they're Mr. and Mrs. Hawk right now. She's, she got Doher, Mike's name, Michael Doher. She changed her name on her army uniform. She showed a picture. She was all proud of it. I think that's so cool, bro. Just giving you a hard time. To- oh, Allie, come on. You want to do Skype sex? <laughs> Sleepy dog, yo. It's definitely made me suspect of her past escapades because it took little effort. It was like tossing a hot dog down the hallway. In the butt? Ooh. Joe just oozes crass. <laughs> yes, I come it. <laughs> Bought my girl a silver necklace. Asked the jeweler to put it in a box marked white gold. Is that wrong, Joe? Not at all. Is she a wife or just a girl you're dating? Because if you married for a long time, that's uh, fucked up. If you're just dropping some loads and shit, then who gives a fuck? <laughs> in the butt. Hot dog in the hallway in the butt. Well, you, you know what? You can't jump to conclusions. You can't jump to conclusions, so don't. Just enjoy it. Be glad you're getting the fucking, you know, the fucking ass. Chilling, debating on quitting GNC. You don't like GNC? Them shirts. Mikey, on uh, the store page, yeah. 10 bucks, free shipping, bro. Dropping loads, yes. What's up, brother? You're going to do an interview with Janoy soon? I just did one. It just was on the show. Uh, the one that came out Tuesday. Maybe she was born with a gaped hole. Maybe, does she have any butt plugs or anything that resembles one? Maybe she was trying it on her own before she let you put the dick up there. Just to see if she can get it in there. You know, she put a dildo, a vibrator in there a little bit. She said she did her internet research on how to make it go as smoothly as possible and plenty of lube. Wow. That's a good girl, dude. Oh, man. You are a lucky fuck. Gotta go watch it, LOL. Man, I managed one. Been there for five years, but damn, they treat us like shit. What, GNC? Do an interview with Nate Figs. I don't really know much about Nate Figs. You know, I've seen him. I think his girlfriend's sexy as fucking hell. She's got a fucking beautiful fucking buttocks. I would love to fucking shove my fucking prick in her asshole. Dry as a fucking bone. <laughs> Just fucking pink soccer, man. <laughs> I do know what I pulled out. Her butthole stayed open. I had to flick it to get it out the snapshot. <laughs> oh, my God. Dumbo, yes, yes, that's the nickname I have of her. Two girls, one hat. <laughs> oh man, forwarding to Nate. Well, I would, I listen. He's in that misfits fucking you know world, man. I'll fucking love to interview him. He can come on. I would love for his gal to come on too. The MSM is the best family ever. This is the best early birthday gift. Jared Jernay, what's up? When is your birthday? Because you're turning 21 this year, so I can buy you a drink next time I see you, isn't it? Two holes, one wiener. You know what I think's gay? When you see like a guy, uh, two guys fucking a girl, one's in the ass and one's in a twat. And they're like, their legs are touching. Because, I mean, there's only so much in between room. But that little membrane in between the cunt and the asshole, you got to feel each other's dicks going back and forth. And that's just fucking weird. This is a funny fucking show. Thank you. I tried my best. June 26th. Oh, wow. You got five days, bro. That's when you're going to start drinking with me. Where is Wildfire? She may have fucking... She works midnights. She might be fucking sleeping. She might be at the horse thing or something. I don't know. She had a great show yesterday, though. We watched it on Wednesday. Yeah, because she she 
uh, did it not Tuesday. She did it on Wednesday. It was fucking. It was, I saw her only the last half hour. It was fucking funny as hell. That's pretty fucking gay. I couldn't do that. See, I'd rather just fuck a mouth. You do the wobbly H. Uh, I agree, Joe. I cannot be close to Nick. I, I got no problem tag teaming with a guy, but you, you can't be touching each other. No, it's it's like you're completely in the other fucking side of the room, kind of. Little Wayne bragged about doing that rap song with his buddy Birdman. Really? I Now it gives me another reason to hate rap. <laughs> I was digging in my garden. I found a chest full of gold coins. I wanted to run straight home and tell my wife about it. Then I remembered why I was digging in the car. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Oh man, make sure you go deep because sometimes fucking rainstorms. <laughs> make sure you do it towards the grade, not away. <laughs> you got to go towards the grade so that it takes longer for it to come down. <laughs> Against the grade, that's what I really meant. If you if your dirt's graded on your plot, <laughs> your backyard. <laughs> oh fuck, what do we got? Oh, eight minutes, plenty of time. Anybody have any questions about bodybuilding? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fucking tag teams, man. Been a long, long, long time. <laughs> long, long way to go. Man, I like watching um, uh, FFM porn. That's one of my favorite. I like lesbians, but FFM is a close second. What's your thought on Blaha? Don't have much to say about Jason Blaha. I can't really get through his interviews, uh, his interviews, his videos. I don't understand them. I would interview him, but the, everybody tells me he'll never even answer you. So I'm like, who the fuck is this guy to not answer people, let alone fucking somebody who wants to really interview him? So bodybuilding will never be this entertaining. Never. Never. You mean the ironic douche isn't fucking this much fun with his nine live viewers the other night? That is not a lie. Nine... In a show that was probably about, I don't know, 40 something minutes. I, yes, Flash Flanagan, I tried the Chaos pre workout. I like it a lot. I don't get that sweaty neck. I don't get that crash at the end. It's a, it, the pre workout does what it's supposed to do without being fucking like boom. And then all of a sudden you feel like shit after an hour. So I, uh, Crazy Hawk is an awesome dude. He most certainly is. I love Mikey to Mike, Mike, Mike. You should skip the Olympia and go to the Ruby. I'm thinking because the Ruby is like the 20-something and the Olympia is the 14th, 15th, 16th, I'm going to try to do both. But I can't skip the Olympia. We got we got a nice, a nice crew supposed to be going and the Alligator Bar. We're going to do live shows from there. I already got my fuck. I got my room for fucking two months now. I haven't tried it at KS. Stop giving it a shot. I can only speak for their pre-workout, and I speak highly of it. So, who's the ironic douche? <laughs> the ironic one. <laughs> nine, nine viewers live. Now, when I finish this show. All right, Nerf, see you later, bro. I need a discount on the... See if the Shoei or those guys have codes. I don't know if they do or not. A lot of these guys on the feed here are uh, part of... Big Rob is always on. Chat later. Okay, Ali. Skype? <laughs> I need to try Blackstone Labs product soon. Well, use Mike and or Thea's codes. So you save money and you give them... You know, that's what uh, Braun wants to see from his peeps. They're selling the product. Just go to their Instagram. You see that you have their 20%. Alec, you worked out with Allie? You lucky dog, you. You lucky dog. I'd work out with her. I'd love it. She's got fucking, she's big. She's works out. She trains for real. Plus, I like her. She's cool and she's cute. He's bitching about how he got only a free hotel and not a... Oh, the Jason thing? Yeah. Like I said before, guys, you get, everything Jason says, you got to always put an asterisk next to it. It's like, you know, Mark McGuire's home run record, whatever. <laughs> and they, they did that to fucking Maris first. He didn't work out with me. I gave him. There you go. Good for you, Ali. I hope you crushed the cocksucker, too. Fucking work him out. His work his balls off. You should do a show and act super calm, whisper, drink coffee, and call it a cup of Joe with Joe. I'm, somebody has had to have done that in the past. Like the ironic douche. I mean, <laughs> Crash Gear LLC. What's up, bro? 
I got an LLC too. Let's do business. <laughs> I'd love to actually work out with her. She's, she is, Alex. She is super cool. Watching it right now. You, oh, okay. The Jason thing. Did anyone catch the guy who tatted Blackstone's logo on his arm? Well, I can't throw stones. <laughs> but I own the company. If I only, like, when I worked for MD or Flex, I wouldn't have fucking put their name on my fucking arm or anywhere, even on my fucking asshole. Um, but if you don't own something, like a company, it's kind of douchey, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Any MSM family member is free to work out with me when they are in Columbus. Even me, John, I can come there. But see, I drink when I'm in Columbus. <laughs> Who the fuck did that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever put that up before, do you know who that was? Let's give him credit where credit's due. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at PJ's feed. Okay. Donkey Kong. What's up, brother? Donkey Kong. Oh, Blackstone Baller. I've seen him. He's commenting and stuff on our thing, so I don't want to say anything silly. Because if the guy's... Fucking supporting my show. I got to support him. Joe, you drink no matter where you are. Yeah, see, I don't drink at home. I only really party when I go away. Mighty Joe, I can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? Is Mr. Johnson's ears just got potatoes growing out of him. When I go away on business trips, I enjoy uh, partying because I don't have a car. You know, I'm not driving. I don't have to worry about d -weeing. You know, I'm in a hotel. If I go downstairs, all I got to do is fucking walk my way back up. Come on, come on, get on a sweat with me. That sounds kind of gay, dude. <laughs> and I'm, now I'm definitely going to take you up on the offer. We can hear you. Mr. Johnson, that new phone you got, man, did you drop it in the fish tank or something? Because it's not working for you right. That's not good. I mean, not, not for the show, for yourself I'm talking about. Let's say you got to call a fucking, you know, a lovely, torturous <laughs> female bodybuilder. I would have posted something, but he's a follower. Yeah, I can't. So that, you know what? If he, may, maybe he'll get hired then. I don't know. Maybe he'll get a raise if he is hired already. I don't know. I remember a couple of guys were saying they wanted to get MSM tattoos. And I, I was like, you guys are nuts. But if you get it, I'll fucking, you know, I'll put it in the magazine. How could I not? I'd be overwhelmed. You know, like, holy shit, this guy's fucking great. Chris, you have to. No, can't do that, bro. We are going knucklehead, yo. The timer just came on, so my countdown is started. Instagram is going to cut us off because the hour is almost up. So we're going to have to say goodbye for today's version of Ask Me Anything MSM Style. Get a shit ton of money and get my ass to Olympia. Mark, I would love to fucking hang out with you. All your fucking, my European friends. I'd love for you guys, South Africa. If we could ever get together all in one fucking room, we would all be there coming, having a great time. MS tattooed on my ass. I would fucking kiss your butt, even though you're a guy. Just because, you know, you're cute. I saw your picture. <laughs> guys, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining us today in AMA. I will see you guys Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern time for Muscle Sport Radio. Enjoy your weekend. Have fun, do whatever the fuck you want to do, and don't fucking worry about the rules because there aren't any when you're in the family. Later, dudes.